ஹலோ இன்றைக்கி நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறது ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் கவுட் பீம்ஸ் அதாவது ஒரு கவுட் பீமில் இன்னர் ஃபைபரில் அவுட்டர் பை ஃபைபரில் எந்த மாதிரி பெண்டிங் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இருக்கும் என்ன மாதிரி டைரக்ட் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இருக்கும் டோட்டல் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் என்ன ஸோ ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் அட் தி ஃபைபர்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி கவுட் பீம் ஸோ கவுட் பீம் ப்ராப்ளம் டைரக்டாக பார்க்குறதுக்கு முன்னாடி வி கேன் சி த கான்செப்ட் பிஹைண்ட் இட் ஸோ லெட் மீ கிளியர் அபவுட் இட் தெர் ஆர் டூ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் பீம் வாட் வி ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டடி தட் ஒன் இஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ரைட் பீம் and another one is a cowed bone so in cowed beam na onnu illa initial ave or bending kuduthu and the beam deform panni vechirupanga avula dhaan so first straight beam and second one cowed beam straight beam la rendu different ana axis irukum first one centroidal axis centroidal axis na enna na the axis passing through the centroid point of the element centroid point or center of gravity இது கிராஸ் செக்ஷன் சர்க்கிள் அப்படின்னா அதோட சென்ட்ரு பாயிண்ட்னா சென்ட்ரல் ஆஃப் கிராவிட்டி பாயிண்ட் இது டூ டியில் எடுத்துட்டோம்னா சென்ட்ராய்டு த்ரீ டைமென்ஷனாக கன்சிடர் பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னா சென்ட்ரல் ஆஃப் கிராவிட்டி ஸோ த ஆக்சிஸ் பாசிங் த்ரூ த பர்டிகுலர் சென்ட்ராய்ட் பாயிண்ட் த ஆக்சிஸ் நோன் அஸ் சென்ட்ராய்டல் ஆக்சிஸ் ஸோ சென்ட்ராய்டல் ஆக்சிஸோட மெயின் தீம் என்னென்னா ஆக்சிஸ்க்கு அபவும் பிலோவும் த மெட்டீரியல் ஜாமெட்ரி சேமாக இருக்கும் அதோட மாஸ் சேமாக இருக்கும் and then second axis will be neutral axis so straight beam la neutral axis um centroid axis um romba coinciding ah irukum neutral axis na enna na neutral axis ku above um below um adoda stress distribution und eppadi irukum appadina symmetric la same ah irukum so straight beam ku neutral axis um centroid axis um epovume coincide ah irukum yen appadina ஸோ அந்த ஸ்ட்ரைட் பீமில் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் வந்து ரொம்ப லீனியராக இருக்கும் எந்த இடத்துலையும் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் வந்து கான்சன்ட்ரேட் ஆகி மேக்ஸிமாக இருக்காது த்ரூ அவுட் த கிராஸ் செக்ஷன் த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் வில் பி ஈக்குவலி டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டட் ஸோ எல்லாமே ஈக்குவலாக இருக்கிறதுனால அது சென்டர்லேயே இருக்கும் ஸோ சென்டர் ஆஃப் கிராவிட்டி அண்ட் சென்ட்ரல் லேக்ஸுக்கு கோயின் சைடிங்காக இருக்கும் இதே கவுட் பீம் அப்படின்னா கவுட் பீமுக்கு சென்டர் வழியாக ட்ரா பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னா அது சென்ட்ரல் லேக்ஸஸ் ஸோ கவுட் பீமில் இனிஷியலாகவே ஒரு பெண்டிங் கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க ஸோ வென் வி அப்ளை த பெண்டிங் லோட் the stress concentration at the inner fiber will be more that is the inner fiber la adhigama stress concentration irukum comparatively the outer fiber so neutral axis enna ponna just deviate aagi konjam keela vandirukum towards the center of curve idha center of curve in the center of curve da curved beam irukum so normally g and n both axis will coincide with each other edhila straight beam la ana curved beam la when we apply the bending moment on the curved beam the stresses will be more at the inner fiber comparatively the outer fiber mung and diagram paathone therinjirukum inner fiber la adhigama stress concentrate a irukum so comparatively the outer fiber inner fiber having high stress concentration so the neutral axis will be deviated so these are the main things we should know and then next will be the specifications of it and then when we take the cross section of the curved beam idu or circular cross section eduthukala so a circular cross section and here will be the center of radius or center of curvature the distance between the inner fiber and the center of curvature will be inner radius and the distance between outer layer outer layer and center of curvature will be ro radius of outer fiber and then the distance between centroidal axis and the center of curvature will be mean radius or capital r and the distance between the neutral axis and the center of curvature will be neutral radius so rn so these are the main radius what we are going to study and after that the thickness of the fiber will be h and then there is some deviation from centroidal axis to neutral axis that is e so these are the specifications we have to clear about the cross section of the curved beam and then after calculating it we have to find out bending mom- bending stress at inner fiber and bending stress at outer fiber so these formulas in psg data book page number 6.2 and there are various cross section the r formula mean radius formula and r and neutral radius formula is in page number 
6.3 so we can refer formulas for various cross sections and we can refer the formula for inner fiber bending stress and outer fiber bending stress from page number 6.2 actually the inner fiber bending stress formula will be bending moment into eccentricity sorry into inner fiber thickness and area of the cross section eccentricity and radius of inner fiber and similarly sigma bo outer fiber bending stress will be bending moment outer fiber thickness and then a e area of cross section and eccentricity then outer fiber radius so these are the formulas we can get from page number 6.2 to calculate the bending stress at inner fiber and bending stresses outer fiber and then we need r and value and r value to calculate all the specification in which we can get from page number 6.3 so these are the basic formulas and basic concept behind the curved beam. Let me go to the problem. So here there is a problem. We have to find the stress at inner fiber and outer fiber for the curved beam which is given below. So here it is a hook and which is having the cross section of rectangular having the thickness of 20 and width of uh, 100. So for this cross sectional hook we have to calculate the particular bending stress at inner fiber and outer fiber. So here whatever may be the curved beam we have to be clear with the cross section. In the curved beam put the cross section la nama maximum concentration pannu. So like cross section enna din paathom appadina cross section is a rectangular one which is having the thickness of 20 and wide of 100. And then it is deviated from the center of curve so let me take this one is center of curve and centroidal axis always passing through centroid point this is g and then here is a inner fiber and here is a outer fiber the neutral axis will be deviated towards the center of curvature that is g ku o ku konja deviate ana madri n irukum so here will be n n abadina neutral axis so centroidal axis and center of curvature center of curvature will be defined in the diagram and centroid point and central centroidal axis will be passing through the centroid point that will be at center and neutral axis slightly deviated from the centroidal axis the deviational distance will be eccentricity so these are the major thing and then center of curvature to inner fiber will be inner radius and centroidal sorry center of curvature to the outer fiber outer radius then centroidal axis to center of curvature capital R or mean radius then neutral axis to center of curvature that will be Rn and the thickness of the cross section will be H so these are the major specification and other than that outer fiber to neutral axis that will be H0 and then inner fiber to neutral axis that is HI. So we have to calculate HI value and H0 value which we are going to use in the bending stress formula. So these are the major specification the diagram and the specification we can get from page number 6.3 for various cross section for this problem rectangular will be the cross section we can get the all the specification in page number 6.3. So here curved beam is nothing but the application of eccentrical loading. Eccentrical loading na first enna soli irukum. Adhu or element irukum. So if this is the centroidal axis of the element, the load will be acting parallel to centroidal axis. So nama normal eccentrical loading ga convert pannu appadina we have to add plus p and minus p. So summation vandu kadachirum. This one will giving direct stress and these two loads will be giving bending stress so either part in a video already separate arc, you can see that for eccentrical loading so to convert eccentrical loading into normal loading condition it will we have to calculate direct stress value and bending stress value and for total stress we have to do the summation of direct stress and bending stress algebraic sum so here also here will be the centroidal axis and load acting will be deviated from the centroidal axis so here eccentrical loading we have to convert eccentrical loading into normal loading so here is a hook and here will be the load acting point that is p 
and he, here is our selected cross section and centroid axis so we have to add one p and we have to minus one p this one will give direct stress and this one will give bending stress direct stress formula directly load by area the load applied by the area of the cross section bending stress formula we can get from page number 6.2 so these are the data we can get from the diagram first one whatever may be the diagram we have to be careful with the cross section so in the curved beam are in the low other cross section and the cross section in a specification either I may page number 6.3 let go in a radius and outer radius and mean radius and then distance between neutral axis to center of curvature and thickness and heights not nana had China and I sent this in and so these every specification will page number 6.3 and after that over code beam may will be applied uh, in eccentric loading eccentric loading and normal loading a convert for no normal loading a convert for now one eccentric loading will be converted into one direct stress and one bending stress direct stress na load by area bending stress na formula on the inner fiber the outer fiber on the page number 6.2 largo so now we can go to the problem and here we have analyzed the entire things which is given in the problem then we can calculate the answer so for solution the main thing is the cross sectional diagram so i can draw separately and here is center of curvature and this one is centroidal axis and this one is neutral axis inner fiber radius that is ri which is given 50 mm in the diagram itself and outer fiber radius that is r not which is given 150 mm and the thickness value h is equal to 100 mm these are the data which is already given in the uh, diagram itself this will be o and then the mean radius and radius between neutral axis mean radius na centroidal axis la the center of curvature varaikum idu the r neutral axis radius na neutral axis center of curvature idu r n r ku r n ku formula page number 6.2 la 6.3 la irukku solli irukum psg data book page number 6.3 so r formula can get that So our formula will be from page number 6.2 the inner radius plus h by 2 and then neutral axis radius formula h divided by length num of r dot by r i. So we can calculate uh, r i is 50 plus 100 by 2 and similarly 100 length num of 150 divided by 50. So we can calculate the value by applying the given data as R i R not H. So we can calculate R value and R n value. So the distance between central axis and neutral axis E. So this is the correct total R. R length R n remove point of E correct. So E is equal to capital R minus R n. So E is equal to capital R minus R n. Then in the H i venu H not venu H i na inner fiber length neutral axis kind of distance. This is H i. So, center of curvature la neutral axis ku R n, inner fiber ku R i. So, H i calculate pannu abdi inna, R n minus R i. That is in the distance R n, R n lendu R i remove point abdi inna, namak ondha H i kattu chanom. Apro, outer fiber thickness. So, outer fiber to neutral axis thickness ondha H naat. So, it is not the outer fiber radius ondha yuvula dhura irukku, R naat 150 mm. That is lendu R n remove point abdi inna, namak H naat kattu chanom. So, H naat is equal to, R outer minus R inner. So we can get H i value, H naught value and E value. We, if we know R n, R i, then capital R value. That's it. So by using the formulas and by using the diagram, we can get R value and R n value, then E, H i and H naught value. Then we can calculate sigma B i and sigma B o. The formulas in page number 6.2. The formulas are M B into h i divided by a e r i and similarly m b h o a e r o area for the cross section and eccentricity value eccentricity value now that is capital r minus r n then h i value calculated h naught value calculated m b bending moment is nothing but the applied load value that is applied load is here 
20 kilo newton so applied load into distance from load acting point so load point to centroidal axis g so in the sum of the centroidal axis and the load acting point and the volume so on o the load will be acting from o to centroidal axis and the distance and abdina from o to centroidal axis so from o to central axis r the so in the other p into r the so in the value sum of the change of the load act out though suppose the load when the inga act out when the tally act out now we have to add the extra distance also wherever the load is acting the distance from the centroidal axis and load acting point will be the distance for moment that will be the perpendicular to the applied load so here mb is nothing but the applied load and the perpendicular distance which distance distance from the load acting point to central axis in the sum director are the so we can calculate sigma bi value and sigma b out value so here by seeing the diagram when we apply the load downwards in the hook in the load killer the total system so inner fiber la elongation irukum outer fiber la compression irukum idu apdi straight ah maathra da irukume inda edam full ah elongate aayirum inda edam full ah compress aayirum so at inner fiber elongation will be there outer fiber compression will be there elongation appadina tensile so inner fiber la tensile irukum outer fiber la compression irukum and then convert pannumbodhu hook la eccentric loading ah normal loading ah convert pannu appadina So, this is eccentric loading. Normal load convert to the load. So, here this one is P and this one is P and this one is P. In the random send the bending iron. So, sigma bending inner fiber, outer fiber calculate. Inner fiber tensile, outer fiber on the compressive. So, inner loading is separate. This tensile compression. Tensile it will be kind of pulling. This pulling it will pull the hook. So, it has tensile. Suppose this compression is this is a pushing force, we have to consider as a compression. So here is a tensile one. This is the pulling load. So tensile stress will be there, that is load by area. Area is load. Enna, we have to calculate the direct stress, which is nothing but the tensile in the problem. So here load by area. So this is the tensile. Sigma B i tensile. Sigma B o compression. So when we calculate the total stress value, Sigma B at inner fiber particular total uh, total stress at inner fiber Sigma B I plus Sigma B random may tensile so random may on the plus total stress value at outer fiber calculate panna Sigma B O plus Sigma D Sigma B O under the compression compression na minus particular then Sigma D upon may tensile tensile particular so comparatively inner fiber and outer fiber inner fiber having more stress so by applying the diagram and the specification and calculating inner fiber bending and outer fiber bending and direct stress, we can calculate the total stress at inner fiber and outer fiber. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.